What is up, Pins Map? My name is Rob. I'm and the AI man. Designated Rob. Hello everyone, my name is Krautmouse. Krautmouse. Krautmouse, and I am back today showing off the full family of Ebonair Club prestige emblems. Woo! Why the fuck has every seagull in the goddamn world decided to come outside my window whilst I'm recording this commentary? Anyway. Disco room! This is a base cannon. Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right. Here I am. About to fuck over you. I got your shotgun, I'm gonna fuck you up with it Multiple times a day Go have a look at the models, like I've been using this to sneak up on dragons, have a little look at them They look pretty awesome when they're not trying to kill you Man this map is awesome, look at that Chow bar Oh man don't, <laughs> I spent most of the time playing LA Noir looking at the carpet <laughs> Look at the patterns in the carpet <laughs> Try my hand at designing what a Star Wars themed Keyblade would look like because I think that would be a really cool fucking thing to have and to use. It's a speed art emblem based off of the emblems from Mass Effect. So I've recently gone back and started playing that game. A devout scientist broke the laws of his time and wrote his confession in what is one of the most pinnacle religious paintings ever seen or heard. I'm always up to some sort of shenanigans. You know, I've got, <laughs> I'm either out on a night out, doing crazy shit like bungee jumps, a fancy dress, dressing up in Hawaiian outfits for no good reason whatsoever. And uh, let me tell you, being hit full pelt with a fucking pair of shoes when you're drunk still hurts. I got my first tattoo done in Amsterdam and I had a fucking cool holiday. Although I didn't like go fucking hardcore, I did actually try a space cake whilst I was out there because um, I wanted the experience of being stoned. There's a fox over there. <laughs> Sorry. The uh, the gameplay itself serves as quite a good visual metaphor. This has been quite a cool little um, school on how to Moab people on fucking a 2v2 playlist, which I'm really chuffed about. Secondly, I like to do my best Chris Brown impression on the fucking Trickster's face before going over and killing her. Boom. That is how you kill a doctor. Oh my god, welcome to Stab City. This is bootleg. I've got literally shoes that are bigger than this map. I've had an Elder Dragon and a Blood Dragon uh, fucking kicking the shit out of me for seven, eight minutes. By the way, that little bastard there is gonna the only person who's gonna lay hands on this bitch this game. <laughs> Basically, I've got my controls set out to Southpaw Legacy, uh, Nom Tap Default Flip, whatever that is. Look Inversion is enabled, so basically I can't move a shit. Ah, oh, yes! Woohoo! <laughs> Your involvement level is low. I'm, I'm just saying, buddy. Boom, bitches! My videos are now going to be in HD. Basically, I wanted to do an Ask Me Anything. I wanted uh, to give everyone out there the opportunity just to ask whatever questions they want. Would you rather have expanding foam squirted into your bum or having your fist in a man's bum? I just... I... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just got beat by You me. got beaten by the fucking pin. What else? Loads more emblems. Fuck loads more emblems. Rob Pong wants to know whether we like rapid fire or... Today I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 Free For All, but with a twist. I'm using Legacy South 4 controls with the Nomad button layout. I saw this idea on Krautmaster's channel. My name is Krautmaster from AchievementHunter.com. My buddy Krautmouse has been redoing some of these emblems in the actual Black Ops emblem editor, which is
crazy insane hard to do. I don't know how he does it. Thanks for the assist on that cookie, by the way. Sorry, I, things started happening. Could have been the gayest were... thing we've ever done at Respawn. You helping you start... me an Oreo. I just want this to be a general, um, like, thank you and a general sort of, like, I don't know, just appreciation. Like, do you know what I mean? I do this just on a whim as a little bit of a hobby. And um, it's great to see that uh, a group of people enjoys what I'm putting out there and really wants to watch more of it. So all I can really say is just thanks a lot for doing it. And um, it really, really means a lot.